Hi everyone, this is Dawn. I just want to show you a wedding mailbox I made for a co-worker at work. A girl with the, having the wedding, she wanted her theme is dark purple and white. So she wanted rhinestones, lace, their names on it, and I just added a few more things to it. So basically what I did is I purchased a galvanized mailbox from Walmart. My husband spray painted it white. Um, these flowers are purple for some reason. They're showing up as, I don't know if you can see any of them as purple. They're showing up as blue on the camera, but it's purple. Anyways, um, they're wild orchid craft flowers. They were white and ivory. And I took and sprayed them with my homemade alcohol ink. So I don't know what size they are. I got a bunch of them. These little bling pieces, rhinestones, these come from uh, Michael's. And I used all the teardrop ones out of the package. Uh, this, this swirl bling right here come from the wedding section in the stickers at Michael's. Um, these right here also come from Michael's. And these sprigs, I took and pulled them apart. They come from a wedding section at Michael's. Um, I took a purple Sharpie and streaked the flag, it was red. And then I took some of that finished glitter spray and I sprayed it. So when the flag, it does work, but as you're moving it, um, it scrapes the paint. So I, I glued this on to hide that. So when you open, let it up and down, it doesn't, uh, you can't see the red. And sorry about my hands. They still got that ink. And there's a lot of these little cobwebs. And I'll get these off of here. And then I took and put this little piece of bling right here. I think it's going to pop off. I'm going to have to redo it. Okay. I'll fix that one. Um, this this um, roll of bling right here. It was a lighter purple. And I took a purple Sharpie and made it darker purple. Then this white lace. Come from Hancock Fabrics along with the purple lace. So I hot glue the purple lace, then the white over top, and then the bling. Um, these flowers, these are satin flowers, and these flower sprigs come from the wedding section. This bling, this bling is a Christmas, and I just cut pieces off of it. It was really cheap. So that's that. This is the back of the box. Here's the same stuff. The satin spray, wild orchid craft flower roses. This comes from the wedding section. These are those purple flowers. And that bling. The sprigs. The teardrops. And I went around the whole mailbox with the lace. Then I cut the um, the bling in half, and if I don't know if you can tell it, but I went up and over the mailbox, and then on this side too, I went around, and I use these purple flowers up here. Put your name on here, Nicholas and Monique. And then, for the front of the mailbox, the latch is black, so I didn't like it. You couldn't paint it because every time you would open it, it would scratch the paint off. You couldn't color it with a Sharpie. So what I did is I put my wild orchid craft flowers, the bling, 
the sprigs, the teardrops, the white flowers, everything's the same. Up here at the top, to hide the hole, I put this on here. And then I put this bling around the edge of the mailbox. So I took a chain with a little hook. I don't know if you can see it. And that's it. You just move it out of the way. You just let it dangle. There you go. Let it dangle like that. I hot glued the chain down. These right here come out of um, some kind of tablescape. They're purple. So I covered up the two holes with that. This up here covered up the two holes on top. And then you open the mailbox. And I even colored that little piece. So that is a wedding mailbox. And all I have left to do is put my stamp on the bottom. And that's the mailbox. It's finished. So I do a little slow roundabout so you can see it. I'm not making anybody dizzy. And the top of it. I hope they like it. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.